Hi, my name is Katie Moyer. I'm a fitness professional who teaches a dance class, and I get the question a lot of, I'm not a dancer, but can I take your class, or how do I enjoy dance more? And all I want to do is break the tension that, yes, you can dance, and more importantly, I want to share with you three tips on how to enjoy your dance class way more. So it doesn't have to be the dance class that I teach. I don't care what dance you're doing, but these three tips will hopefully help you just let it go and have more fun and, and more importantly, be more you. So here are my three tips on how to enjoy a dance class. Number one, you're gonna have to let it go. People do not follow perfection, people follow passion. I say it a lot in my trainings when I'm training people to teach the dance format that I teach called Size Live, however, that goes for taking class as well. So just because you take class and you don't nail down every single step, especially the first class, all I'm gonna say is let it go. Because what dance is meant to be is, is meant to be fun. And it's meant to get you sweaty and, and kind of gross and a really wet, disgusting ponytail. But you had fun. So yes, it's a workout, but you're gonna have to let it go that, you know what, perfection is, is not the goal. And, and that, I think, will hopefully just let you like <sighs> relax your shoulders. And so when you walk in, already know this is not about perfecting anything. This is about just having a lot of fun. So that's my first tip. Let it go. Perfection goes out the window, and this is more about passion. And number two, my second big tip is Wear something that makes you feel awesome. So I love bright colors. Um, I love wristbands. I love um, my hair down so I can whip it around a little bit. Um, I also, I'm gonna get up real quick, but I love tearing something, tying something around my waist. It's nothing fancy, um, but there's something about wearing something around my waist that makes me feel like I'm cool and I'm edgy and I'm such a dancer when um, I'm not really, I'm, I'm a group fitness instructor at, at the heart of what I do. I, I love to dance and I did grow up dancing. However, there's just something right now about what's that wrapping that thing around the waist and I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Like, got my dance, my dance swagger on. But wear something that really makes you feel like you kind of get your dance swagger on. It could be really cool shoes, it could be high socks, it could be a hat, maybe a headband, but I don't care what it is. I just hope that it really makes you feel awesome. I've always been told by one of my um, great mentors, Shalene Johnson, that if you feel like a million bucks, your workout is worth a million bucks. And I 110% believe that. So make sure you wear something that makes you feel like a million bucks. My third and my last tip on how to enjoy a dance class is <sighs> let your personality shine. Just because you don't look like the person standing next to you, or you don't look exactly like the instructor, or maybe you're doing something at home, just because you don't look exactly like they do, you're gonna have to let that go. The biggest thing that people forget about dance is dance is subjective and, and it can show emotions. And, and emotions are things that we just feel and, and you have to let the music kind of lead you a little bit and, and let go of the fact that, hey, I might not look exactly like what that person's doing, but I'm gonna be me. And that's still pretty cool because at my, at my trainings that I do to train these instructors to teach Size Live, what I think is really cool is that everyone kind of has their own swagger. So we do a little size bounce, kind of a little fun. Some people are really kind of chest popping and they like that. Some people are really smooth. Some people just kind of like bop around and do their own thing, but they're all having fun. And, and again, my first point was that you got to let perfection out the window. And, and if you do that, and then you wear something where you get your dance swagger on, then, then hopefully number three just kind of falls into place for you because it really is about you letting your personality shine. And that's what I think is the best part about dance is that it is emotional and it's very, very subjective. I, I don't go over a lot of form and technique at these trainings because there's no one right way to dance. I mean, people have different personalities, people have different styles, and that is the beauty of dance is that we all get to express that and, and express our emotions. So just go and have a lot of fun. And, and honestly, the more you put yourself into the dance, not only are you gonna have a lot more fun, but you're probably gonna burn a lot more calories just because you're forgetting about perfection and you're thinking about, you know what, I just wanna be me and I just wanna have fun, I wanna whip my hair around. No, I don't wanna whip my hair around. Like it's, it's that one class that I always tell people, you can say, no, I don't, I don't really wanna do it that way. This, this is me and this is how I do it. And I can be like, yeah, actually I kind of agree. They should do it that way. So long story short, I hope that you enjoy more dance classes by simply, number one, letting perfection go and letting your passion shine. Number two, wearing something that helps you get your dance swagger on. And number three, 
that you just let your personality shine because your personality is going to add something to that class whether you say one word whether you're in the back corner in the front whether you're kind of off to the side but your energy only elevates the class and so what I will say is bring your personality bring your dance swagger and let perfection go out the window and enjoy your dance class Thanks so much for watching, and if you had more fun at your next dance class because of this, can you subscribe to the channel? Can you comment below? Can, can you let me know what else I'm missing? Those are the kind of things that are only going to help me give more informational videos about how to get more out of group fitness classes or how to get more out of dance or any other questions. But if you found this helpful, subscribe to the channel, click like, maybe ask a question below and tag me in it. But I look forward to hearing about how much more fun you're having at your next dance class. Thanks so much for watching.